Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you're doing a plugin review and you accidentally on purpose leave some music on in the background? Well, I find myself in that situation right now. If you want to see how I navigate this issue plus some other self-inflicted problems, well, join me today in the studio. Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker. Welcome to this episode of I Don't Have a Band. In this episode, I'm talking about RX-9 from Isotope, the latest version of their RX platform. Now, RX has been a mainstay in my workflow since version six. I can't go anywhere without it. Now, as a YouTube creator and as someone who's creating music, I run into all sorts of situations where I have audio files that I need to repair. And the pressure of a YouTuber and trying to get as much content out as possible, especially in the music and production space, I mean, I'm under the microscope all the time, so I. I'm often battling time, you know, wanting to get my videos out, but wanting them to be as perfect as possible. And you do have to make compromises. And believe me, you guys do tell me when I make some mistakes. But having RX has saved me so many times. It saves me so much time. Really, that's the most important thing. I can fix so many different things and get them done quickly that otherwise would have spent hours and in some cases are not even possible. So we're going to take a look at that today. Now, speaking as a YouTube creator, I can only imagine what it'd be like if you, the viewer, had the power of RX9 while watching one of my videos videos. Hey, Lonely Rocker here, and I've got two words for you that's going to change your music production life forever, guaranteed. And those two words are... Well, thankfully, you don't have that power, but I do. So let's jump in and take a look at RX-9. All right, let's jump into this. Now, if you're not familiar with RX, it's basically a suite of tools designed to repair all kinds of different situations. Think crackles and hums and all kinds of different noise, wind noise. Sometimes if you're recording in, a, in an echoey room, it can knock out some of that reverb. There's just so many different tools in there to solve all kinds of different audio issues. Now, obviously you want to do your best and record it properly in the first place, but having something like RX is really a great thing to have in the event that something happens. And as I said, uh, most YouTubers will agree with me, things happen, so it's a great great tool to have, but certainly for music production as well. Definitely lots of vocal tools. There's just so much in there. I'll actually summarize some of the new features in RX-9. I'll do that a little bit later, but I want to jump into some actual examples so you can get an idea of what this application can do. So the first thing I want to take a look at is that issue that I created in the opening where I had uh, some music in the background. Let's see how we can knock that out. RX-9 operates as a standalone app or as a series of plugins in your DAW. Today I'll be focusing on the app. To load the file, you just drag and drop. One of the big updates to RX-9 is the machine learning in Dialog Isolate. Let's take a quick listen to the unprocessed clip. Accidentally on purpose, leave some music on in the background. Well, I'll open the Dialog Isolate module. The parameters here are simple to follow with only five options. I'll give it a quick preview without tweaking anything. Well, I find myself in that situation right now. If you want to see how I navigate this issue plus some other self-inflicted problems, well, join me today. That's pretty good right out of the gate, but I'll make some small tweaks to try and improve the results. You can play with the dialogue and noise levels as well as adjust the sensitivity, but I think boosting the quality will make a big difference. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you're doing a plugin review and you accidentally on purpose leave some music on in the background? Well, I find myself in that do you ever find yourself in a situation where you're doing a plugin review and you accidentally on purpose leave some music on in the background? Well, I find myself in that situation right now. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you're doing a plugin review and you accidentally on purpose leave some music on in the background? Well, I find myself in that situation right now. If you want to see how I navigate this issue plus some other self-inflicted problems, well, join me today in the studio. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a patch cord connected to a high powered amplifier just to demonstrate a plugin. But it seems that's what I'm doing right now. Now, while that scenario might have been slightly staged, just slightly. A uh, guitar hum in this studio is not uncommon. In fact, it's a common problem that I have. Uh, my amplifiers are sitting right here. And as I am the only rocker, it means I do everything here. I can't tell you how many times I've left something on and I didn't realize until I got to editing and I just couldn't jump in and reshoot it. So getting guitar hum out is something I find myself doing more often than I want to admit. So let's see how we can tackle this issue. And like I said, sometimes using the most obvious feature of RX-9 is not necessarily the best way to go, but let's see how we can tackle this. So I'll drag the next clip and give it a quick listen. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a patch cord. 
My first instinct was to use dehum, but I found I got way better results with the spectral denoise module. You can set it to adaptive mode so it automatically analyzes the clip. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a while I think the results are pretty good, we can be more surgical doing this manually because there is a clean clip of the hum that RX9 can analyze. I just highlight the section where the hum is clean and click Learn. I'll now extend the preview area and preview this setting deeper into the clip. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a... There are a number of settings we can tweak to improve this correction. For one, I'll boost the quality. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a... And there are more settings in the Advanced tab. I'll also boost the Reduction slider. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a... I think one last boost here will do the trick. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a... That's pretty good. Let's compare the results to the original. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a patch cord connected to a high-powered amplifier just to demonstrate a plug-in. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that I'd be sitting here in front of a camera holding the open end of a patch cord connected to a high-powered amplifier just to demonstrate a plug-in. Hey, if you're still here, perhaps you'd consider simply just clicking the like button. That simple gesture goes a long way to helping this channel, and I really do appreciate that. Of course, you can leave a comment, you can share this video, and ultimately, if you like what I'm doing, hitting the subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. There's also other ways you can help out this channel. You can check out the description. I have links to my Patreon, affiliates, and any offers that I have going. Every little bit helps the channel, and I really, really do appreciate that. All right, let's get back to the video. Now, here's the ultimate challenge for RX-9. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it. Now that that back wall is taken care of, I can install the acoustic panels and uh, pretty much ready to start moving in the furniture. We still got about a week or so before the big moving truck. That was a clip I shot during my studio vlog series when I was moving here to the new studio. And I was outdoors, onboard microphone, wind noise, air conditioner in the background, absolute disaster. If I had the time, I would have reshot that one. But I wanna throw that into RX-9 and see what we can do. Now, I'm not expecting complete miracles, but perhaps you're in a situation where you've got a clip that the audio is just really bad and you just can't shoot it. Let's say it's an interview and the person is gone, you just can't get it back and you don't have a show uh, without it. You gotta make the best with what you have. So let's see what RX-9 can do in this case. Let's tackle this last clip head on. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it now that that back wall is taken care of. I can install the acoustic panel. I'm going to treat this a bit differently. Much like the previous clip, I'm going to use spectral denoise to tackle the hum for the air conditioner. But this time, I don't want to pull it all out. I want to reduce it enough that will allow Dialogue Isolate to do the rest while preserving as much of the voice quality as possible. Again, I'll highlight the hum and click the Learn button. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it now that that back wall is taken care of. I find there's too much of a reduction because it's impacting the voice, so I'll bump up the quality and reduce the reduction. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it. Now that that back wall is taken care of, I can install the acoustic panels and uh, pretty much ready to start moving in the furniture. We still ah, that's better. Now I want to bring in the module chain. This is where you can batch process multiple modules at once. I'll add spectral denoise and you'll see it retains the settings from the last go round. And now I'll bring in Dialog Isolate. With less to do, we should get even better results. I'll boost the quality and then give it a listen. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it. Now that the back wall is taken care of, I can install the acoustic panels and uh, pretty much ready to start moving in the furniture. We still get about a week or so before the big moving truck. A little too much. I'll back off on the sensitivity. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it. Now that the back wall is taken care of, I can install the acoustic panels. And now I'll add it to the module chain and give the whole clip a render. Let's compare the before and after. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it. Now that the back wall is taken care of, I can install the acoustic panels. Well, we're getting closer. I can feel it. Now that that back wall is taken care of, I can install the acoustic panels.
and uh, pretty much ready to start moving in the furniture. We still get about a week or so before the big moving truck. So some of my bigger furniture is not gonna be able to come in until then. All three of those clips are cleaned and ready for final mix. That doesn't even scratch the surface of the surface of what RX-9 can do. There's so many tools for so many different applications, from vocals to instruments, just for general purpose audio. There's just an incredible amount of tools there to get you out of a bad situation in many cases. And honestly, and I don't want to sound over salesy about this because I'm not getting a commission or I'm not getting paid for this video, but I use RX for every single thing that I do. There's not one production, not one mix that hasn't seen RX with at least one instance, if not more. And I'm trying to think what I would do in some cases if I didn't have it, because I just don't have other plugins that can do what RX can do. So it's really found its unique space in, in my tool set. And I know many other users will agree with me. I mean, are you using RX? I would love to hear from you and definitely worth a try if you haven't uh, let me know if you get your hands on it yeah no music in the background this time well there is rx9 i certainly hope you enjoyed that would love to hear your thoughts on that now you're going to have to do your own cost analysis if you're a professional you've got income coming into your studio honestly for the cost of maybe one to three sessions you're going to have repair tools that are going to save you in numerous situations it will more than pay for itself if you're newer to the game or you got a home studio and you're not really showing any income but you do need some repair tools you can consider the elements level now you're not going to get all of the features but you're going to get some great tools and most importantly you're going to get on the platform. Isotope has one of the most, I think, fair upgrade paths in the business. They have sales throughout the year that allow you to add features at a much cheaper cost than if you had bought it out right at the beginning. So if you just don't have the budget and you can wait, it's definitely a way to get started. That's how I got started. And I enjoy the benefits of many of the plugins that are honestly mainstays in all of my productions. I will put a link in the description if you want any more information about any of their products. Well, if you're still here, I'd love to know who you are. Perhaps you can let me know in the comments. Uh, certainly if you can utilize one of the engagement options. It really helps the channel and I really appreciate that. If you want to do a deeper dive with me, I am on Patreon as I mentioned. I have affiliate links. I have other offers. I'm going to put that in the description. Any income I make from those kicks back to the studio and helps bring you more and more content just like this and I really appreciate the support. But most importantly, and I really mean that, I'd love to see you again in another video. So I'm going to give you a couple of options right now. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and or leaving a comment. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. There are a lot of great musical projects you can do by yourself right from your own home. I hope to see you again in another video.